In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things you can do with the summaries in Genie. So as you can see here, I have an article loaded up on the left and I have a summary opened on the right. If I wanted to open the summary from scratch, I just select this summary button in the top right hand corner of the article. From there, I can open up summary sections by clicking on the drop downs here. And I can go to where the information has been derived from in the summary by clicking on any of the bullet points. Beyond that, I can also add a bullet point to my notes by hovering over it and clicking this icon on the left here. This will generate a note and means I can quickly streamline information from the summary into a notepad. I can also copy and I can copy by section as done here, or I can copy the entire summary by clicking the copy icon at the top here. If I wanted to, I could also export to Word by clicking on the export Word to summary, sorry, export summary to Word icon. And that's basically how you can get the summary out through copying and pasting or exporting. Beyond that, you can also recompute each summary section by clicking on these arrow icons. These will give you a choice of parameters, basic, short, standard, long and advanced. These three will change the length of the summary and the complexity. Advanced is a summarization algorithm we have included in our pro plan. It's undergone more retraining and is using a larger data set. So it's a bit more uh, advanced as the title suggests. In this case, we're gonna just go basic long. We're just gonna do it for one section. So as you can see, the, the output has changed ever so slightly. You can also view version history by clicking on the clock icon here. And this will allow you to restore back to previous versions of the summary. The last thing to note is you can up and down vote summary bullet points by clicking on these uh, thumb icons. All of this information is used to retrain our algorithm. So if a summary is bad and you don't like it, give it a down vote. If it's good, give it an up vote. And this will just improve the output of the AI moving forward. So I hope that answers any questions you might have about summarization in Genie. If there are any additional questions you'd like to ask, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks.